Hey everybody, it's Eddie. I'm back for another informational video, and this one's based on the Constitution Article 1, mainly Section 2, Clause 3. And this amendment has been changed, um, I believe four times. Don't quote me on that, but I believe four times it has been changed throughout our history. And this amendment was ratified in seven, in the 1700s, the late 1700s. So right after we were uh, introduced as the United States and signed our constitution and became an official country. But essentially, in this, uh, in this passage, it says, Representatives and taxes among the states shall be appointed according to their respected numbers of population. And this number should be refined and refigured every 10 years to amount to the population growth of the country, which is inevitable. And the number of representatives should not exceed 30K per representative. So like 30,000 people equals one representative. But if a state only has 30,000, or let's say a state has 28,000, they'd still get one representative. If a state had 32,000, that means you would have two representatives, which would mean that that state would have about 16,000 people per representative. And that that is ideal for our communities and our local problems. Like most politicians go to go to Washington and they just they just vouch for Washington. They don't care. They don't. I mean, it's not that they don't care about our communities, but it's not beneficial for them to stay in our communities and help the communities and talk to the communities all the time. Have them just sit in Washington all year. And I think that's a big problem why the people don't have a power anymore. Because in 1911, the number the number was changed. Well, not changed. It was fixed to be 435 max. No more, no less. And that pretty much goes against the original Constitution, which the original Constitution article that would protect us from uh, oversaturation of representatives. So, essentially, if if we didn't have uh, if we didn't have just 435, and we continued growing the number, like it said, with one representative per 30k. On average, we would have 10,000 uh, representatives for our country right now. And, and right now, we have 500,000 people per representative. Do you see how, like, how can any one representative take care of 500,000 people? That's a lot of people to vouch for and take in their ideas and just work with them, like, um, if we had 10,000 representatives, people are trying to say, like, how could how could stuff get done? How could they all go to Washington? How could they? Like, that's just way too many. But if you think about it, if we had 10,000 representatives, the representatives would most likely stay in the communities and help the communities. They'd have to. There'd be no way they could just go to Washington, lobby, make money. Focus on the bullshit, focus on the bullshit. They literally have to stay in our communities. And you try to say that there would be no agreements, but there would be so many, like having 10,000 representatives would open the gates for people like you, people like me, to run for Congress or Senate and have a chance to win and share our own ideas. Like, and I think we would have multiple parties, multiple ideologies. We may not even have parties. If it was that, if, if it was that case, it'd be represented by the people for the people. And that's how it should be. Like, we have this perception nowadays that only congressmen and politicians are special people. But originally, all these people that were congressmen and presidents and all that stuff were was just regular humans, just regular Americans who cared about their country. And now it's more like... Oh, I'm rich, I got this, I got that. Now I can just do this and now I'm qualified, right? I'm qualified now. But no, it should be the people for the people, represented 
for the people, by the people. We are fighting for our rights if we had the power to do so. It wouldn't be this us versus them mentality anymore. This my way or the highway. This, oh, it's one side or the other. It's so black and white. This is not how it's supposed to be. And if we had that representation, everybody, every community would have representation and a politician who cares about them and their community from LA to rural Wisconsin and people focusing on ideals and beliefs and the commitment to solve our community's problems locally and they wouldn't be there just oh I'm gonna make money I'm a lobby there'd be way too much people to lobby there'd be way too much spread of opinion to control and divide like they do now. And don't you notice, 1911, there were many parties before 1911. Since 1911, the party number has decreased on who wins. So essentially what I'm trying to explain and idealize is that I think if we followed our original constitutional rights, I'm gonna do more videos about this, we would be in a way better state of living for all Americans, no matter who you are. We have too much division, we have too much hatred, and it's just one way or the other. We need to come together and we need to have uh, talk about ideas and what's what's good for our country, what's good for the people, what's good for everybody involved, not just Hollywood and big, big corporations like they do now.